Today, guys, we got to take a look at an interview with the executive producer from The Division of Resurgence. So let's dive into it. The Division Resurgence is taking you back to New York City to see where it all began. It's a free-to-play, third-person shooter, and it's coming to iOS and Android. We've got the details on a new enemy faction, new specializations, the new storyline, and it's all here in our interview with executive producer Fabrice Navrez. This is a new story in the Division canon, and it takes place... You are the first wave arriving in New York City, is that correct? The overall objective was to make sure that we give a, a unique story for Division fans to enjoy, to, to give more details about the Division universe, but also for newcomers, people that are not familiar with the Division 1 and the Division 2, to have a good start. And so you will start with the first wave before the Division 1 events, and then a big chunk of the game is actually after the Division 1 and before the Division 2, and from there we will expand the stories. Now that first wave gave rise to rogue agents. Rogue agents, of course, some of the not just toughest enemies, but also most uh, sort of developed characters in the Division franchise. Are we going to be meeting some new characters, some new faces uh, that are really part of, of how this whole thing unfolded? We are doing two things, actually. It's first to uh, to meet with people that are known from the Division 1 or the, uh, or the Division 2, uh, which is it's interesting to meet them before what happened actually in the in the division one especially and we're also introducing new villains will we be seeing familiar factions new factions who are we going to be fighting out there in the streets as a player you will meet with the factions from uh, from the preview surplus but uh, we also uh, created dedicated factions uh, one of them is the freeman for example so it starts with okay what what a bunch of uh, engineers, civil workers, people that are, know how to build stuff will behave in a collapsing New York City. Uh, well, they will do their own arsenal, they will build their own weapons, uh, and will also introduce a brand new gameplay to have new challenges for the player that plays very differently from the, from the former factions. Specializations, big part of the Division 2, not just in terms of special weapons that can change the tide of battle, but also a whole complement of abilities, mods, and buffs. Are there new specializations coming for the Division Resurgence? Absolutely. You will find the specialization you used to have in the Division 2, but we also added uh, new ones. We wanted to uh, to allow the player to change specialization uh, when he wants. To make sure that when you're playing in cooperation with your friends, for example, that actually you can you can kind of adapt your playstyle to find the right synergy in your team. So so the, the key here is really flexibility and bringing new, uh, new cool stuff uh, in your arsenal. If you want to play 5 minutes, 10 minutes, you can. If you want to go into a more intense focus game session of two three hours it's possible as well you can basically play the game a bit uh, uh, fitting it with your your, your time uh, the second thing we're looking at also is to uh, to give a lot of options for the player to customize the the controls for example to make sure they are very comfortable with that uh, with, with with the play style uh, so so that's that's really the the key there and it's also how we take advantage of uh, of putting the division on the mobile phone. It's a faithful division game, so uh, we had a, a lot of great inspiration to take from. Of course, it's adapted for a small screen had to be uh, easy to read, but uh, you, will, uh, you will feel at home basically with the uh, overall uh, UI style. Playing with friends, playing solo, these are both different ways you've been able to play the division in the past. How has that kind of translated to the mobile platform, being able to jump into solo, being able to jump into co-op? Um, how have you sort of tuned that for mobile experience? Uh, I would say it's it's quite similar to what you would expect from the division. So it's basically you can either plan to play with your friends. From there, you can do all type of activity in the open world, go to play the campaigns, etc. Uh, the game is is a, is a MMO at art also. So if you want, if you meet some strangers that looks helpful, well, you can play with them and 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 and, uh, and, and explore the city. Uh, and where we're pushing a bit more the boundaries is on the clan system. Where basically what we want to have is to have. Uh, uh, a group of players that are gathering together and try to improve the situation in New York City. And basically all the tasks that is being made by, uh, by, by the, the clan members is basically improving the overall situation. So it's, you're not alone.
we talked about specializations, but of course that's only one part of your arsenal. As a division agent, the gear you're wearing, the weapons you're wielding, the mods you have on them, and the way you acquire them, either by looting them uh, from your enemies, from a, from a cache, or by crafting them. Talk to me about how that kind of depth of customization has translated to the division resurgence. Uh, so that's something we wanted to keep the complexity, the theory crafting, the min maxing. Uh, the division resurgence is a RPG, and that means that actually players will be able to really look uh, on how to optimize everything to get the best build in a specific situation. So we kept uh, most of the system you would expect from the division. Of course, it's adapted. You start with the specialization that is kind of increasing the number of options. It means also different synergy with the guns, but uh, but you will have a quite, uh, quite complete mix actually to, uh, to, to find the best play style. Excellent, you can get really into it there. Now folks, before we go, the Division Resurgence wants you to play the game early in upcoming tests. So go to thedivisionresurgence.com to sign up for a chance to get into the closed alpha this July. Fabrice, can you give us an idea of what the team is hoping to learn from these tests? If you have the chance to play it, it's very important that we get your feedbacks. And uh, the key there for us is to really understand how you play the game. Uh, how do you like what we've done with the control, with the overall pacing, the overall level design, and how we uh, we, uh, we put uh, uh, New York City. So it's really focus on the gameplay experience and the immersion of the, the open world. Sounds good, Fabrice. Thanks for taking the time to tell us more about the Division Resurgence. Sign up for a chance to join upcoming tests at thedivisionresurgence.com. Subscribe to this channel and keep up with the latest Ubisoft news at news.ubisoft.com. It's a goddamn grenade! Cargo secured. JTF notified for pickup. Our guys have arrived.